this is where Kanye, I believe, feels he's too full of himself. The people who owns these companies ain't trying to suppress Kanye's voice. Okay? Now, they could be offended by the stuff that Kanye says. The same people that Kanye's talking about did Dave Chappelle the same exact way and had y'all thinking Dave Chappelle was out uh, crazy smoking crack in Africa. That's what Kanye is coming against. The power of the media. I understand how powerful the media is. But if you don't understand how powerful the media is, then you think that the media is just covering things. No. The media actually has the power to change the minds of every person's fan base without their consent. And this is what Kanye is talking about. They are now changing the narrative of Kanye and they are also silencing him off of all major platforms where there's 5.2 billion people on the internet people don't realize that the fastest way to reach every nation is through the internet and they understand this every time somebody wanted to control the minds of people they would just turn it on to one channel and let you only listen to one thing this is what happened with hitler every radio station was subservient to hitler's message and that's it and this is why you don't allow people to do this you allow people to choose life or death you allow people to choose right or wrong even god in the beginning he said of all these trees you can eat all this all this fruit here but this one tree so what did god give you in the beginning he gave you a choice to obey him or not. He gave you free will. These people ain't trying to give you no free will. Y'all better wake up. You are not him. You are not him. You are not him. No, I'm not him. I'm just him. No, you're an idiot. All right, chat. Yeah, I, I didn't finish playing that Kanye video. Um, Here we go. Y'all ready? This is Kanye talking about, I don't know. What the fuck are you talking about? Look at him. And, and funny thing about woke culture is like woke culture is not really woke like that a lot of times people they do, they would rather just exist inside of the pain of a lie than deal with the harsh realities of the truth for us to look further look at like jfk uh how many uh documentaries there are on what happened there like as a people we are an, we are a sophisticated people that have to look in and be willing to challenge things that just take what the media has fed us the interview we had was amazing and the exact people who sent people in the streets for black lives matter were able to derail uh the interview and a lot of the ideas just based off uh the main comment the um i'm sorry i'm distracted by these people honking over here so so um with nori nori is my brother He's under a lot of pressure. If you look at the first thing it says, Nori does an interview with Rosenberg. But what's the exact thing I was saying? I said the Jewish media controls so many things. It's not all the Jewish people, but there's specifically uh, uh, Jewish people in media that are in power that try to have, they, they bought the black voice, but they haven't been able to by my voice. So instead they blackballed me, they threatened people to not interview me, they threatened people to get away from me, they closed down my stadiums. Love you too, family. Love you too. Yeah. You said thinking, right? Appreciate you. Yeah. They they've done all this stuff for years, messing with me, just like poking at me, like calling me out of my name. My name is Jay. Anytime they say Kanye West, I changed my name. It's like Cassius Clay to Ali. You respect me as a man, as an American, that my name is Jay, that I have the right to choose what my name is. So when media does that, it's already disrespect. I love rappers, rappers are artists, but when media calls me a rapper, it's specifically to not bring up the fact that I'm worth $11 billion, that I'm the richest black man of all time, that I'm a billionaire, that I'm a tycoon, that I'm a visionary. And if I say that, if I say those three things, then they'll say I'm a narcissist. Right, but they push you down so much that you gotta fight just to just to say who you are. You know, I what I got from the documentary from the from the Candace Owens documentary was I felt like it was a setup. I felt that in the documentary, if you look at it, he told his roommates they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. Well, who is they? I'm gonna pose it as a question as opposed to, you know, giving you some kind of theory that I can't pinpoint. Uh, and this idea of these, these martyrs that we have, it's 14 kids that's dying in Chicago every single day. And they have this uh, 
Jewish media, black media, trauma culture, trauma economy, the stuff that Charlemagne the God works for, the stuff that Rosenberg works for, the stuff that academics, the guys, the academics, you gotta understand all these people that y'all listening to out here, I'ma tell y'all, they getting their checks cut. This is so confusing what Kanye is talking about. So, let's try to make some sense of it. And this is when I realize I'm like, well, number one, I think it, it's a few things. Kanye might not know me that well. Might also not know my platform that well. When he says the guys that people work for, um, and, I, and I know some of y'all will be like, well, Ak, you have a deal with Spotify. I barely do news reporting or media stuff on Spotify. I'm just interviewing rappers. Like The platform where I do news reporting on, right, primarily Instagram and YouTube, right, there is no other agenda. I cover what I want. My opinion is not bought. I can say whatever I want. Um, I've detailed my plight to get to where I'm, I'm at. And one of the reasons why, you know, I was empathizing a lot with Kanye before was that I understand getting to that point and people trying to make you fit in because they do it to me now. They, they say, I, I got here by being edgy. Now they want me to, like, I had this conversation with my brother. I got here by being edgy and saying what a fan would say. Now they're saying, yo, why are you saying what a fan would say? And I'm like, wait. Because I've made it, I should just now conform with what the people who made it do. So I was a little bit confused when he said my name. And I was and I know y'all think Yeats is all this genius, whatever, whatever. But I just can't understand it. Like, who does he think is controlling me? Um, I'll, 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 I thought about this very hard. Let's think about it. How does academics get his money? Of course, I work with record labels. That's definitely that's definitely a thing. I work with record labels to promote music. I consult. People want my opinion. People want me. They got to pay for it. That's just how it is. Just like how people want your music, people pay for it. That's not a, no agenda. That's how you work. That's how I work. It's cool. So when he talks about like 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 there's some sort of controlled, when you say controlled media. When he first said Rosenberg, Rosenberg works for MS Communication. I don't know if that's a Jewish controlled company. That's a huge media company. Charlemagne works for The Breakfast Club, which is on iHeartMedia. I don't even know, and we could probably Google these people, but again, this is where Kanye, I believe, feels he's too full of himself. The people who owns these companies ain't trying to suppress Kanye's voice. Okay? Now, they could be offended by stuff that Kanye says. Now, I'm not here to defend Charlemagne and definitely not Rosendweeb, okay? That's where I disagree. That is where I disagree. Now, how can you say, DJ Academics, that they are not trying to suppress his voice when they tell banks to not bank with him? Oh, the biggest ones in the world. Oh, that happen to hold majority of his money. Oh, $140 million to be exact. This is where... I don't like how the media, it's like if somebody is coming at me, I'm going to make sure that everything that he says is discredited. What Kanye is saying is that when there's a voice, First Amendment, freedom of speech, right, that says X, Y, and Z about said groups, subcultures, people who uh, identify themselves as certain individuals, they're protected. But when Kanye West says certain things that they don't like, they begin to blackball him off of everything. They did Andrew Tate the same way. Are you guys seeing a trend? It's only when anti-Semitic type situations come up. Nick Cannon, are we forgetting? We have to like, let's just wake up a little bit, right? As an unbiased media source, as unbiased as a human can be, you have to recognize that these people are trying to silence what Kanye is saying for a reason. It's because it directly opposes what they are saying. Now, if someone silences somebody who is directly opposing the things that they are saying, there is now no room for real debate. That's what's going on here. There's actually no room for real, honest, truthful, scientific observation of a certain subject or matter at hand. The matter at hand is Kanye West is trying to figure out 
how to get artists and labels to work together, but he's not, he doesn't understand how to articulate it correctly. And he doesn't trust a lot of people to articulate things for him. So what he needs is someone like me, but on, but more so on where, where whatever he's trying to do. I mean, cause he doesn't even know who I am. Right. But he needs someone to be like, Hey, here's my ideas. Now show me how to convey my ideas correctly. There's a lot of labels who need people like that. There's a gang, almost every artist right now, because there's no artist development. They need to figure out how to get with people who can express the God given DNA that they have through their talents, gifts, and abilities correctly. Nobody is being taught that. And that's the issue we're having right here. This is where the disconnect is coming from because Kanye is a visionary, but he does, he, but he's a poor communicator. That's just what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love Kanye, but I'm going to be unbiased. He's a great visionary. Uh, one of the, the one of the top visionaries we've ever seen on on this earth one of the top creatives we've ever seen on this earth which i'm like top five top 10 top 25 right and we've ever seen on this earth right and uh, i'm talking about in fashion music etc people 808s and heartbreaks is still the sound today little uzi vert playboy cardi xx tentacion juice world uh, 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 the list goes on. Little baby, uh, little baby, uh, and the way that he flows melodically. Although he also has some some Wayne in him as well. So Wayne and Kanye are have really shaped the culture of music and what you hear in today. Let's just keep it a buck, right? But he's now shaping. He's taking. He knows how to take creativity to another lane. Fashion right not taking that away from him but he is a poor communicator and that is what he he should be for the next five years he should just learn how to communicate before he becomes president we don't need another trump i'm being honest trump is a great visionary and a great businessman he's a poor communicator i know people are gonna be pissed biden is a terrible communicator see what i'm saying the, the you see what's going on so when obama comes everyone's like oh why they may not even like his policies, but he was a great communicator. The people who are not great communicators, that doesn't mean they can't lead. It's just that they need, need to get somebody alongside and they need like a vice president who's a great communicator. And right now you got Kamala Harris, not a great communicator. Biden, not a great communicator. You got two. What you had with Trump, you had Pence, who was a great communicator, right? Although people didn't like a lot of his stances and things like that. For the same reason they don't like Kanye West. Anything that opposes these top individuals that are in industries like uh, major corporations, major media outlets. So what that means is, yes, they can. They are coming. They are attacking his points of views, man. And they can silence him and they are silencing him. If you look at the top of Lyra Cohen, all these types of people that are at the top of labels, majority of them are Jew, of Zion, of either Zion. I think Zion is Jewish descent, right? Which is nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, right? And Kanye is just having an issue with the continual pillage of his people in these contracts because why? These people know, and don't be like, oh, they signed the contract. You got to stop doing that. So if some if somebody uh, goes to your kid at high school, right, or, or in their 18, right, and gets them to sign a contract to go to the military, right, right, and th without your without your consent, how pissed are you? How pissed are you as a parent if you didn't want them to go sign up and go to the military? You're very pissed, right? Because you feel like your child is still under your care, even though that they're 18 and they can actually make their own decisions and sign a contract. This is what's going on in the industry. They're going to these people that are in the hood who cannot even, who can barely read a contract, let alone, but who can barely read. And they're getting them to say, they're telling them like Jay-Z and other people because they're they're just, it's just the same pattern. It's like, if this happened to me, then what normally happens is you start doing the same thing to other people. Uh, you, you're you not leaving this office until you sign. What is the why? Because now you can't get lawyers and then they'll give you their lawyers. Right. And they did the same thing to Rihanna. Like, it's just like that type of predatory contract signing should not be a thing. They did Megan Thee Stallion that way. The list goes on and on. I'm sure they did Glorilla like that. I know y'all are going to be pissed about that. I'm sure they I did, the list goes on. NBA Youngboy definitely got got done like that. They're not being given correct contracts. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you guys understand. And hey, if you have opposing 
uh, you know, we can we can debate it and hashtag it out in the comment section. A lot of people just say, oh, yeah, he's crazy. Right. And then that that dismissiveness. Right. Is what they did to who the same labels and, 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 and the same people that Kanye's talking about. Did Dave Chappelle the same exact way and had y'all thinking Dave Chappelle was out uh, crazy smoking crack in Africa. That's what Kanye is coming against. The power of the media. I understand how powerful the media is. But if you don't understand how powerful the media is, then you think that the media is just covering things. No, the media actually has the power to change the minds of every person's fan base without their consent. And this is what Kanye is talking about. They are now changing the narrative of Kanye and they are also silencing him off of all major platforms where there's 5.2 billion people on the Internet. People don't realize that. There's no the, the fastest way to reach every nation is through the Internet and they understand this. So it's like if they can silence the opinion that opposes them, then what happens? It's complete mind control. And then nobody can actually uh, there will be no more critical thinking. If you don't if you don't listen to opposing our uh, opposing arguments, you'll you'll never be a critical thinker. And they know this and they know that your subconscious mind will become subservient to them and what they what comes out of their mouth and their speaking points and their talking points and their puppets and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that don't even know that they're puppets. Why? Because this thing has been going on for years. Every time somebody wanted to control the minds of people, they would just turn it on to one channel and let you only listen to one thing. This is what happened with Hitler. Every radio station was subservient to Hitler's message and that's it. And this is why you don't allow people to do this. You allow people to choose life or death. You allow people to choose right or wrong. You give even God in the beginning. He gave me, he said, hey, all of all the tr of all these trees, you can eat all this, all this fruit here, but this one tree. So what did God give you in the beginning? He gave you a choice to obey him or not. He gave you free will. These people ain't trying to give you no free will. Y'all better wake up. Just like the mill on the ground. Bow. Huh? Being so right in my Bow. hand. Huh? Keep a card dust that I fall with the fam. He don't owe me like I already did.